I've noticed something interesting about YouTube videos. If you put a silly little face on your thumbnail and say the magic words, how to grow a small account, you notice that the fish, they come running. Of course, fish can't run, but the fish, they come swimming. Well, this is not that. <laughs> this is a video about trying to sensibly, calmly, logically, grow a small account, right? Real methodologies. And here's a spoiler. It's not necessarily the strategy. It's not something special and private. It's just common sense. Now use Mr. Buffett, for example, Warren Buffett does not use a very good methodology. And who am I exactly? Who am I to criticize him? But if you put his strategy on paper and compare it to anything else in the trend following genre, I mean, it's not close, but again, who am I? Nobody, but the biggest weapon in growing a small account is trust. You have to trust what it is that you're doing. And then of course you have to trust the math behind it, but it's not something tricky. It's just common sense, right? So how do I trust? Well, I'm new to trading or I've been trading for a while or I haven't been doing well. How do I trust? Because this particular methodology in the video is going to take trust. There's no way around it. Well, here's a tip. Logical math already said that and trend following follow trends. If you want to try to make something work long-term, that's my tip for you. Okay. So here's the point of the video. We're going to try to grow a small account with our fishing poles. And this is very important and very important point. If you don't have money right at the start, this is a way to grow that you don't have money. For example, you have a little bit now, but then you can save up a little each month and then add that in. All right. It's specifically tailored for that. It's not like you have $10,000 now. It's, a, it's like you have $600 now, but you're budgeting and you're going to add to it. Okay. It's going to be a ton of numbers. Yay. So good for YouTube clicks, boring numbers, but there's going to be a ton of numbers. These are hypothetical results. They're meant to educate. Please do not risk money. You cannot afford to lose. Okay. These are not, I am going to reveal something from my live account, but all of this is uh, research. Got it. Here's how we're going to do it. Everybody ready is not a secret. It's called DCA dollar cost averaging. All right. This has been around forever. Go to any financial advisor or morning star or boring person on TV who doesn't believe in trading or anyone who's kind of an old fuddy duddy. Sorry to cast aspersions there, but it's been used forever in the index fund <clears throat> methodology, right? Just put money in every month and buy your index funds and say it like that, right? Add every month. Now, this assumes that you've got your finances under control and almost nobody does, sadly, right? What is your budget? What do you save? What is your savings rate? How much can you spend? All of that needs to be done. We're assuming you've done that. You're serious. This is for serious people, right? Who have their budget ready to go and money to put into their account right now. Well, also a month from now and also a month after that, right? And the month after that. Okay. Why does this work? Why have people been saying it for so long? For me, the number one reason this works is commitment. If you're going to dollar cost average, you're committed indefinitely forever. I'm going to put it in my trading system. I'm going to do it again next month and so on. I'm committed. The number one reason this works is that it's not, well, I might try this now and I might try something else later. This is a commitment. And commitment works in all things. Uh, and as it turns out, it works in trading extraordinarily well. The other one, the mathematical reason is it adds after losing months. So you have your trading system and you lose where well, you add money in. So now when it turns bad month turns into good month, you have more money, right? If you lose 500, but you add 500 back, you're starting the next month. $500 ahead, right? Which means your trade size could hypothetically be bigger, which means your win will be bigger. It gets you out of the hole faster. You follow now there is a downside, right? If you 
are adding every month and you just had a great month, now you've added money on top of the great month, you're going to be in a very big trade size, which is going to lose the next month. So you will see drawdowns, but we're adding again the month after that. So everything evens out. That's the idea. The number one reason this works, commitment number two is, it allows you to keep cranking and add size on down months. And yeah, we're gonna lose some on the big months too, but we're also going to be in there every month trading, right? Now, we're going to now get into some tested examples. This is my Master Trend Kiss Robot. No, not the band from the 80s, 70s, 80s? No, not the band. Uh, this is a robot. It's not even for sale. <laughs> I don't even sell this one yet. I might. It's a kiss robot because it's keep it simple Sherlock. Some people pay, say stupid at the end, but that's mean. And Sherlock, the BBC show Sherlock is my favorite show of all time. So that's why we say Sherlock. Got it? We're going to start with only $600. Now, please don't uh, barrage me with why 600 I just made it up. Why? Because I had an account about a year ago that had $600 in it. <laughs> I don't know what it was doing there. Uh, so I started with 600, totally random idea. Okay. And I'm going to add a hundred dollars every month. Why? Well, that's not a percentage. It's random. I made it up. I figure a hundred dollars a round number that I could do every month and that almost anyone else could also. Okay. So let's say you have $600 lying around your seat cushions. You're going to start trading. Great. And then I'm going to find a way with all of my jobs and saving and whatever to add a hundred every month. Are we clear? Okay. These are random numbers, nothing magical in those numbers. Here is a trade example. Now it's called keep it simple because this robot has no inputs. You know how you, when you buy a robot, it's got all these different inputs and you know, Bollinger Band or trademark stochastic RSI, right? And then you, and then you optimize and optimize. This has nothing. <laughs> this robot, I built it for my simplicity, but also in the mind that, you know, an index fund, you don't have to think. You just put your money in an index fund. So if you have a trading system, let's just put money in the trading system and let's not worry about anything else, right? So is it a black box? Yes. Ooh, I know, scary. But here's how this works, kind of. I mean, it's how it works, but I'm not giving away all the details like a jerk. When stochastics indicator goes into overbought, it buys. That's opposite. I know we can talk about that some other time, but when it goes into overbought, it gets into a trend and it goes for massive profit targets. Well, how come it didn't get in on all these others? I'm sorry, it's proprietary, confidential, and it doesn't trade 24 hours a day <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> okay. It tries to trade high volatility times. Guess what? In Forex, you know what the most high volatility times are before noon Eastern. This little tip for you, right? That's where all the volume is. Seems like it should be 24 hours a day. It's not. Okay, got it? So that's a trade. That's from, a, or it's a recent trade, actually. That's September 2022. So, woo, that's nice, right? Nice winner. Okay, here's the boring part. This is where you can tune out if you like. All right, here's the master trend robot. Does use the stochastic indicator. Okay, we started. We're going to risk 7% each trade. Why 7%? I know. It's about half the Kelly ratio for this particular system. And I, I've found that 7% is nice. You could use five, you could use 10, you could use seven, anything in there I found to work very, very nice. I've never really been let down when I use something between five and 10% per trade. Now, if you've been told 1% of trade, that's gargantuan and don't do it, <laughs> do something else. I'm just doing seven. Got it? Okay. We're starting with $600. We're risking 7% per trade. The robot does it automatically. Got it? We traded January, all of January in 2022, and we lost $74. Oh, this example stinks. Okay. But we've budgeted. We added a hundred bucks. So our $600 account is actually 625. Got it? So yes, it saved us a little bit. Now we're starting the next month with 625 instead of 600 or actually less than 600. It would be 600 minus 74. So we'd have a smaller trade size if we weren't using DCA. Got it? In February, we did better. We made $25. Yay. We added 100. So now we're at 750. Ooh, March was good. We made $127. That's percentage wise pretty big, right? We added 100. Now we're at 978. Then we lost 74 and so on. Okay. You can see how this goes. It's adding, adding, adding. It's doing great. And September, don't know if you're following along. In the pound yen, 
This is in the pound yen, GBP, JPY. Sorry if I didn't say that earlier. This is pound yen only, pound yen only. Look at that month. It was almost 100% month. Again, these are outrageous trade sizes. Do not try this at home. Do not even try this ever. It's just for education and testing, okay? Don't do it. Absolutely don't do it. Don't do anything. Don't do anything ever again. I'm just kidding. But be aware these are high trade sizes. So that got us up to 24.84. Oh, but October was awful and you lost all that money. So we ended up by adding 100 every month, starting with 600, we ended up at the right now in November 2022, we would have ended up with $2,100 roughly, right? Now, what do all these other numbers mean? Okay, let's go through it. Let's say we took our 600 and we just, that's it. That's all we traded. The rest of it was saved, but not traded. So we saved a thousand. We saved a hundred bucks a month and just put that in our bank account, but we traded our initial stake of 600. Got it? At 7% per trade. That would have gotten us $442. It's done well this year. Okay. So if we did 440, we did 442 of profit, right? Added on to our 600 that we started with. We saved a thousand bucks. So if we just traded a portion of it, we'd at, be, we'd be at 2042 and feel free to correct my math. I'm sure I'm perfectly right, but uh, you can always uh, troll me and say I did my math wrong, even though I'm right, but I could be wrong. The dollar cost averaging though, doing our secret method title of the video made 2188. So that is better, right? It's better than just trading a portion and saving it, putting it back into our system, back into our system, it is 7% better. So we made 7% more on our money. Is it life-changing? No, but it kind of works over time as we're going to see in an upcoming slide. Now, let's just say though that we saved a thousand and we saved our initial 600. We did nothing. We'd have $1,600 right now. That's 36% better. So that's pretty good, right? We should be trading. We shouldn't just be sitting in cash, which is interesting because we're in the middle of one of the worst bear markets of anyone's recent memory and cash would be beating every fund out there practically. And yet a trading system is up. Hmm. Let that sink in. All right. Well, that's just for a few months. Let's look at how this DCA method does over time. And let's start in 2020, the calamity of 2020. And it's all the th things are exactly the same. 7% risk. We're going to be saving $3,400 this time, add all those up, okay? And let's take a look at the numbers. If we just traded the original 600 and saved the rest, we'd be at 58.67, but our dollar cost out, and you don't see it all because I did this by hand. I did this manually for you, but also for me. I did this manually. I Yes, I run a test for a month, I change the amount, and, and, and then I do it again, and I change the amount of the count, and I do it again. Oh, it takes so much time. I, can anyone give me a pat on the back? But if you did dollar cost averaging, you would have ended up with 6,900. That's a 17% better. So if you just traded the first 600 and saved the rest, you would do better by dollar cost averaging. It's a good way. It's, it's holding up. And by the way, I've done a lot of these and dollar cost averaging beats uh, saving and investing the first 600. It beats it every time. Maybe there's one example. It's almost every time. Let's say that. Okay. So DCA is better. Hooray. If we did no trading, well, we saved 3,400 plus our initial 600. That's $4,000. Obviously we did better than that. We did 72% better than just staying in cash, even through the pandemic and the bear market of 2022. That's not bad, right? Okay. Here is a graphical depiction of what I just showed you. Started at 600. This is what it looks like. Now, Whew, this is great. It's all roses, right? No, it's not. Why do I have this highlighted? Because look at this. Remember what I said about commitment? We have a trend following strategy. Everything's going to be great, right? Everything's going to be fine. Lose, 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 lose. <laughs> Five months in a row. Oh, and I'm adding every month. Why am I adding to a sinking ship? Who has the trust and the guts? and the discipline to stay in. Who? 
I'm just asking, right? Uh, you have. That's why you have to believe in it. Granted, it's been great to this point, but look, all my money's going away. Did it turn around? Apparently it did, because there's that drawdown, and the, woo, there it goes. Okay? I told you the number one weapon is trust. Okay, so no, those are hypothetical numbers. I've been doing this secretly. Literally nobody knows this, not even my members. No one. I've been doing this in real life since June using a new prototype Dragonfly scale-out robot, which nobody has but me. It's not for sale or anything. I've been doing it since June 2020, and I'm up 18.8%. Is that extraordinary? Uh, no, I'd like it to be bigger, of course. Is it extraordinary compared to buy and hold bear market or the 60-40 portfolio, which has done the worst it's done in a century? Yes, it's phenomenal compared to that. Yeah, another pat on the back, please. And also, no one knows this. I'm writing about this. I'm to myself. <laughs> it's not for sale. Maybe I'll share it someday. But I'm writing either daily, weekly, bi-weekly, just making comments of real life of how I'm feeling while this is going on, right? So again, maybe we'll read about that uh, in the future together, or maybe we won't. Maybe it'll be private. But this is the truth. In real money, I this account that I'm using, this DCA, is up 18.8%. Okay. You have to believe in it, right? If this is going to work for you, if you're going to grow a small account, you have to believe in it without question. You cannot even hesitate for a second during those five months, for example. Okay, how many times am I going to say it? Commitment. And it's not the system. I said that earlier too, remember? You can use any system as long as it's logical and preferably trend following. If you want my advice, you can go to the performance page on my website, scottwellstrategies.com, and I give away free stuff, right? So if you don't know what to use, I give away stuff for free. That's amazing. I know, but I want regular people not to use index funds. So that's what I do. Now, that all being said, my secret method, dollar cost averaging is not better than putting it all in at the beginning. So instead of putting a hundred bucks in a month, if you have cash lying around, put it all in at the beginning. There's no question that's better. Here you go. All in is better, it says. I ran that 2020 to 2022 KISS robot. I ran this one. Okay. Not that. Not that. But I ran it uh, from the beginning. So I put 4,000 in. I didn't put 600 and then save up 3,400. I used it all at the beginning. I had 4,000. I didn't parcel it out. I mean, it's not close, right? $12,800 of profit, which is hard to see, I realize. But that 128 plus my original four gives me 16.8 thousand, right? So if you started with four in 2020, you end up with 16.8 hypothetically. And you know, in our DCA, it was only about 7,000. So it was great using dollar cost averaging. So if we didn't have money at the beginning, we could do nicely. But the bottom line is if you have the money, put it in, <laughs> get it started. The sooner you get started, the better. Now, well, that's all well and good, right? But I gave you proprietary strategies and gave you nothing. That's not nice, is it? Well, here is one of the strategies on the performance page, and it's in a previous YouTube video, which is linked to on the performance page. You can find these settings for free. This is called the Turtle 60-Minute Robot. It uses a 60-minute chart on the pound yen only. It uses turtle breakouts. What are turtle breakouts? Just breakouts based on the famous turtle traders of the 1980s. Just breakouts, that's all it is, okay? And you can get all the settings in another video, which I will link to below. I love how things go. It'll be up in the corner, and I point to it. Up in the corner, you go to that video, it's not there. But it will be, <laughs> it will be in the description. Here we go. We're only risking 5%, okay? 2022 only, pound yen only, okay? We did, first month we made a dollar. <laughs> yeah. You got a dollar? You got a dollar? Portlandia joke. Um, $700 now because we added 100 So now we got on our $700, we made $30. Yay. We added 100 Now we're at 831 Oh, big month. Actually, big two months there. And you can see how this grows fast as you keep adding. Now our stake is up to $1,700. And then it goes. Of course, October was a massive losing month, but look at September. You had 
theoretically $1,800 in your account. <laughs> I mean, September was outrageous. So much going on in the Forex market. Okay, let's look at the numbers. If I just did the portion at 5% and added up my savings, $3,600 cost averaging wins again by about 5%. If I did nothing, if I just stayed in cash, trading this way with DCA is 137% better than not trading. And if I put 1600 in July 1st, instead of going DCA, if I put it all in, I'd have 5,600 hypothetical dollars in my hypothetical pocket. That is a kind of a big return. <laughs> I know it's hypothetical. I know it's a lot of risk. I know, I know, I know. This is an idea video, okay? But <laughs> idea or no idea, hypothetical or no, it's pretty amazing, right? Andy thinks so. All right, let's get to the speed round and wrap it up. Uh, if you want more systems, um, there are YouTube videos everywhere on my channel. If you're interested in the Master Trend Robot, um, this one, this is not the KISS version. The KISS version isn't for sale, but you can get the KISS version if you decide to buy something. This is scottwellstrategies.com. This is the book. It's been selling pretty well lately. All things are relative, but it gives free training systems in this one also. And there's your uh, screenshot of the performance page if you want to go and check things out. You, this will link to all the settings and all the videos. All right. That's a way to grow a small account. Not too sexy, but does make sense. We'll be back next month with another video or perhaps even sooner. Bye for now.